Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a little crazy, okay? There's cheese on the floor. We don't have furniture. We're eating and sleeping in the same room. Grayson doesn't have pants on for some reason. Our TV stand is, in fact, a baby seat. I know you can't see it because the lighting dude that's over here who's supposed to be controlling the natural lights is actually not doing it. Grayson, stop staring outside, even though it's cute. Yes, we're gonna explain everything that has been going on. This is an update video with Anna's PCS binder, because it's pretty cool. And you guys asked her some questions, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. But I'm sorry that we've been randomly uploading on days that we're not supposed to upload and then not uploading on days that we are supposed to be uploading. But getting this piece of paper that says we're allowed to PCS, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, the ETP, has been literally the hardest thing I've ever done in the military. Not even close to basic training, exercises, 14 hour shifts, going on TDYs for months on end. Like it doesn't, nothing compares to this piece of paper. I'm literally gonna get this piece of paper framed because it's been ridiculous. If you haven't been able to tell, I've had at least eight cups of coffee in the last like hour. And I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. We are finally moving, we're gonna get a whole update. Light guy, you're supposed to be doing the lights. It's dark in your corner, what are you doing? Anyways, at least I got natural light. He's doing my job right. Thank you so much for being patient. Yes, we are finally PCSing, here comes all the details. Okay, bye. We got approval to move. Yeah. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Okay, so the house is pretty much empty now. We have the movers come and all of that. You'll see that in the next video. Except for anything we still have now is anything we're either willing to throw out or sell when we leave or whatever is gonna fit into our suitcases. Or I mean, we can probably mail stuff. But, but yeah, so once we have everything cleaned out and we're about to move out, I think we're gonna do a empty house tour for anyone who's coming to Kadena. Curious because I had no idea what house we were gonna get when we first got here, so I feel like that'd be helpful. And this, the rest of this video is probably going to be me showing you my PCS binder, which is actually really, really helpful. And I will link them down below because I downloaded the pages. So I'll link them down below if you guys want them. Highly recommend doing it. It's kept all of our stuff in one place and it's great. Nice. Um, when we get to Idaho, we will have to be in quarantine for two weeks in a hotel. Hopefully we'll be able to be in quarantine in our new house. Yep. So that we can <laughs> spend those two weeks actually doing something interesting and I can do like a house tour of that house and all of that, so stay tuned. It's gonna be a crazy couple of weeks, but I'm very excited about it. All right, so this is my PCS binder. Um, I cannot take credit for any of the pages because I bought them off of someone on Etsy, another military spouse. I will try to find the link and link them below if you want them. So for starters, obviously, I have our passports right in the front. I have a little post-it note and a pen because you never know what you're gonna need while you're traveling. And a question I did get from someone was what are the tabs on my binder? So I have one tab for orders, one tab for family documents, which would be like our birth certificates and stuff. Uh, one tab for household goods, which is like the inventory from our movers. Um, one for our medical records, one for our power of attorneys, uh, one for the dog, one for our budget, and one for our travel, which is like all our itinerary and stuff. So those are the tabs that I put in. Um, I do have one in the back that is like miscellaneous, but I didn't... Do I? Yeah, I have one in the back that's miscellaneous, but I just use this back pocket for it, and then I have some loose leaf, obviously, for me to write stuff down. So yeah, the one pocket with our passports. Obviously, there's three of us, so there's three passports. And then I have a calendar. And then the folder for our orders with many, many copies. I have a checklist. I have multiple checklists for all the documents we might need. Uh, more documents we might need. And then I have a bunch in everything that I have printed out. I have like a blank one for me to kind of make my own if you wanted to like customize it. Another blank one. And then these I have, this didn't really like end up working out right for us because our move with COVID got all messed up. But I have one for two months. I have one for one month before move. I have two weeks, 
one week, moving day, and then I believe the one is like after your move, yeah. So if you're like a super, super planner and like to have stuff written down, these are great. For us, it didn't really work out that well because everything got thrown around and we had no idea what was going on. And then I have the family documents, which I won't show any of those because they're important, but uh, I have all the checklists for the old house, which would be, we don't have a lot of these because we live on base, but like the internet, your cable, your water, all of that, so you can write down the account numbers and like when they're disconnected and how much everything was to keep track of that. If you were stateside, I'm sure this is awesome. We just have like the cars and the phones. Uh, the declutter list, um, this was really good for me when the movers were coming. Uh, stuff to like sell, get rid of, to donate to people. Uh, these are like my list of things that I was obviously 100% taking when the movers came. The new house. Um, it's just, oh, ooh, let's not add that. Uh, so we have our address and where to update our address on everything. And then I did our, like my own kind of inventory for all of our stuff. And then I cross-referenced it with the moving inventory that they gave us from the movers. So I did each room and what condition it was in when they took it and how much I thought the value of everything was. So this is just good if you're going to cross-reference when you get your stuff because, you know, there are some sketchy movers out there that like to mess with your shipment. And we obviously have a medical tab. Um, I don't have any of that in here right now because I didn't feel our medical records were appropriate for this video. The legal tab, which we keep our power of attorneys in and any other legal papers, but that's really all we have pretty much. Uh, the pet file, uh, one question I did get from someone was what is like a must have in your binder for your pets? And I know the person who asked is going overseas again, so I, it might be different. If you're going overseas, we're going stateside. So we have all his vaccinations. So we have the rabies and the combo shot, which is all we needed to go stateside. And then we have his microchip number. And this is uh, his health records from the vet, more vaccination records, uh, the stickers for his kennel, more vaccination records, and this was the whole page that they gave us from the rotator for what you need to do when flying your animals. So if you do end up taking the rotator, they will give you these papers. Pretty much just all his vaccination records. I asked the vet to give us everything that was the most recent and most updated. And as far as I know, for stateside at least, you need the rabies vaccination and a microchip, and that's it. I'm not sure, and I can't really tell you for overseas, but that's what we made sure to have in here. Finances, honestly, we have some bonds, and then I have like a printed out budget that I'm gonna keep in here. And then I have budget forms written out. And a blank budget form and then expenses and receipts this is especially important if you're trying to keep track of anything that you pay out of pocket for for the military to reimburse you vehicles really wasn't that important for us because we aren't shipping a vehicle but it's still in there travel plans was literally just the folder of our itinerary and all of our tickets and then I have about 14 different pages of packing blanks blanks and then I have loose leaf which honestly I'm probably gonna use to write down all the like I need a new hairdresser I need a new vet I need a new babysitter like all that information so that I have that when we get there and then in the back is just our new housing form and that is everything that is in my PCS binder Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, coming up on the next videos, we're gonna have the us getting ready for household goods pickup, which is the movers and everything. Uh, so you see us like purging the house, and then you see the movers coming, and then we're gonna do an empty house tour when our final inspection gets done. So yeah, that's what's coming up. Also, we went on a couple of adventures, and we filmed them all, so we went to some cliffs and everything. So that will be in another video. 
So a lot of cool stuff coming up, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. If you are already subscribed, thanks for keeping on watching us through all these crazy ass times. Also, it seems like the COVID-19 is starting to pick up again, so wash your hands and don't breathe on people. Because I think it's funny now because like you can walk into like the BX or something like that on base without a mask and people look at you like you're insane. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. Wash your hands and stay safe and don't eat bats. Bye.